This is a brief demonstration of our Sabre Wing development kit. Uh, the board over self is here and then connected through USB over to our graphical user interface uh, known as Aurea. A uh, couple of windows of interest. Over here you can see an XY window and then also a three-dimensional view. And when I bring my hand over the surface you can see I can fairly precisely control uh, the cursor on the left hand side and then you can also see at about 6 inches or 15 centimeters is the top of where I start seeing the hand and then if I move it closer or you can see I can move it up and down and it's fairly responsive quite fast indeed. Uh, on over here you have some calibration messages, very messages being displayed and then over here you can see the raw signal level so if I bring my hand over into the surface you can see if I move it to the left the black starts going down and then on the other side the black starts going up which is uh, the right hand signal over there. Then last we have here um, the cursor which shows certain gestures so if I swipe my hand up you can see the blue arrow flashing a gesture has been detected for a swipe up or a swipe down in this case or left or right. The Sabre Wing hardware is actually pretty straightforward. As you can see, it's a just a PCB with the electrodes on here, and we have two examples here: a seven-inch design, and then also a five-inch design. Of course, you would only use one of those that have a right, left, up, down, and center electrode uh, as a five electrodes connected straight to the device here, which you can see is pretty small, uh, so that it can fit into any. Um, real uh, application mobile device uh, not uh, using a lot of board space itself. The back of the board there's really nothing there only a metal plate which is meant to emulate a grounded plane in a real application. It actually hurts the performance a little bit uh, and therefore uh, but it emulates a device or a final application uh, a lot quicker. Um, the electrodes is hooked up straight to the device without external components and this just spits I squared C signals out uh, to this little PIC microcontroller that actually uh, um, then communicates USB to the rest of the system. So not much more uh, to it, a fairly straightforward uh, hardware design. There's a couple of gestures pre-programmed into the device itself which is displayed here on the right hand corner. The normal ones you would expect is the left or right swipes also up and down. But we can also detect much more subtle difference between a edge flick or a flick across uh, which will show a different symbol uh, in the right hand corner there. Uh, similar we can do more complex gestures like a circle, uh, counterclockwise or clockwise the other way around. The gestures recognition is also sophisticated enough to recognize if I have repetitive swipes in the uh, one direction it does not see the pullback as a another uh, swipe until I actually deliberately do a right swipe for example in this case or then swiping again repetitively in the left direction. The Aurea development kit can also show the raw signals uh, in a graphical interface so if you can see if my hand moves across you can see the signals actually moving uh, across uh, the, the display here. Uh, if I take my hand away after a while it will go into a freeze which is the sleep mode, low power mode, but you can also see if I approach my hand back in it will start up instantaneously and you can immediately start doing your gestures and moving your hand, hand across the uh, surface again. A very easy example of how this can be used as a human interface uh, is just to use the development kit here actually to advance the slides on a slideshow. So if I swipe my hand up I actually go into slideshow mode and then I can flip through the slides by just uh, actually wiping my hand across the, uh, the surface itself.